Welcome to the world premiere of the new third generation 2021 Ford Raptor. Yes, in the flesh. In this video, I'm gonna give you a full walk around of the new truck and tell you everything we know so far about it. And most of your questions are gonna be answered. What powers it? What about the suspension, interior technology? So let's get going. Here's what the truck looks like in the flesh. What do you guys think? I think this truck is instantly recognizable as a Raptor. Of course, it has that wide body stance. It's pretty tall. It's hiding a few surprises actually, um, but it still has of course the marker lights up top on the grill and of course on the sides, but now they're larger than ever. Just check this out. They're kind of sticking out over here. Of course, the headlights are brand new and kind of matches uh, what the current 2021 uh, latest generation of the F-150 truck um, also has. And of course you have the Ford stamped on the grill. But this truck is hiding a few surprises, of course. Uh, first, uh, visually, if we're still talking about looks, um, the skid plate here, it's uh, wider than ever and bigger than ever. And it still uh, has a very purposeful um, touch to it, of course. This is a truck that can be used in basically any condition. And Ford says uh, the third generation of the Raptor, this guy right here, is uh, kind of pushing the boundaries closer to the trophy truck, a uh, racing truck you would see racing across Baja. TFL Insider new Ford F-150 video series is brought to you by our friends at Five Star Tuning. These guys have been tuning Ford trucks for decades. They specialize in custom tunes that can boost power, increase efficiency, improve off-road capability, and the ultimate towing performance. Go to 5startuning.com, linked in the description below, and unlock the full potential of your truck or SUV right now. Yes, I know you're wondering what's under the hood of this new Raptor. And according to everything we know, it's the latest generation three and a half liter twin turbo high output V6. No, it's not a hybrid, it's not a power boost, and it's not a V8 engine, uh, but it's supposed to be very, very clever. The latest iteration of that, it's matched to the latest iteration of the 10 speed automatic transmission. And the exhaust system is very unique. I can show that to you next. But the power numbers, we don't know yet. Ford has not disclosed, hasn't specified the power numbers yet, but I would assume that it would be the same or more than the 450 horsepower that the truck, the second generation truck has. I know what you're probably thinking right now. Wait a minute, but some of those prototypes that we've seen videos and images of sounded like a V8. What's going on? Is, is Ford gonna have a V8 engine in the Raptor? So let's see if we can hear it when he... Uh... Oh yeah, did you hear that? Was that a six or was that an eight? Or was that a hybrid? Well, we don't know that specifically. Ford did say that the Raptor R version is coming about a year later. So not for 2021 model year. So we don't know what Raptor R really is, what's gonna power it or how it's gonna be different. But we do know about this exhaust system right here. So if you look underneath the truck, uh, Ford is doing something unique for 2021, this generation of the Raptor. Uh, you can see that loop they call it the trombone loop. So it's basically equal length dual exhaust system. Uh, it's pretty high tech. It also has valves. So you can actually now adjust. Driver can specify up to four different sound levels. And it's not, you know, coming from the stereo system. It's actually coming from the valves and how the system is tuned. I cannot start the truck right here in the studio right now, but we do have a little sound clip that you can listen to. And Ford says that in the Baja mode, with the exhaust system full on, it may sound like a V8 engine. And maybe this is why some of us were thinking that the V8 is gonna be right here, right now. Of course, the twin turbo V6 engine 
produces a lot of heat. So in order to manage it and extract some of the air, uh, there's an air extractor on top of the hood, kind of a similar design to a previous Raptor. But, but this is also a functional outlet right here, and it's a little bit higher than it was before. It's a little bit larger, and it's also styled. Ford says it's reminiscent of some design elements from an F-22 Raptor, which is a fighter jet. Well, I don't see the fighter jet, but I think it's a pretty cool element. For 2021, the new Raptor will be available only like this, as a crew cab with a short bed. This is a 145 inch wheelbase. It's basically the same as a normal crew cab F-150. But of course, underneath, there's nothing normal about this. Uh, in the rear, it's a brand new suspension system. This is still a solid rear axle, but now a five link coil spring suspension. By this rear axle, you can see this new design with the coil five link suspension and this trailing arm that goes and locates the axle. There is also the panard bar on the rear to center the axle as well. And you can see these ones have holes to save some weight, but Ford hasn't actually disclosed the full curb weight of this new truck. So we'll have to wait a little bit to uh, get those numbers. So that's the panard bar and it goes along the axle line. And I don't know if you noticed already, but these tires right here on this truck you see here, these are 37s. It's kind of, actually, it looks just right, but it's hard to imagine. 37 inch tall tire from the factory on a four wheel drive truck. For 2021, there are three wheel options available. This one you see here, it's beadlock capable and it's highly styled. There is also more of a chrome look and another beadlock capable wheel look. They're all 17 inch diameter wheels. Let's keep going in the suspension just a little bit longer. Right here in the front, of course, you can see these giant aluminum A-arms. It's of course independent front suspension. And there you also see the new Fox shocks. So these are live valve shocks. Uh, it's about the same technology as there was prior in the second generation, but this is kind of improved to the next level. So these shocks respond within about 80 milliseconds. Uh, they're still adaptive, so they respond to the current conditions and the speed of the truck and the driver input and the environment. But the bodies are now a little bit bigger. It's a 3.1 inch diameter shock body. And here you can see the valve right there. That's a, adjusting the shock. And when you equip the truck with a 37 inch tall tire instead of a 35, that comes base, the shocks are also a little bit different. So it depends on how you order the truck. If you order it with 35s, like a base model would be, um, the shocks are a little bit different size um, and wheel travel is still spectacular. Um, with 35 inch tall tires, 14 inches of travel in the front and 15 inches of travel in the rear. And if you're wondering how it compares to the TRX, I actually have another video about this comparing spec for spec on TFL Afro channel, how the new Raptor for 2021 compares against the Ram. Of course, Ford worked very, very hard to improve all of the clearances, ground clearance, approach, departure, and breakover angles. Uh, because it does have to be better than the second generation Raptor, of course. And now it also has to either compete or be better than the new Ram TRX. And they've done that as far as the specs on paper. Departure angle is now 24.9 degrees. And they actually redesigned how the exhaust system comes out, even though it looks about the same with dual exhaust pipes right here. Uh, they redesigned the hitch. They actually kind of kept the steel, high strength steel frame mostly intact, but reinforced the attachment points where the suspension attaches to the frame itself. And of course, the 37 inch tall tire, there is a spare right there underneath. You could fit right, uh, right under the truck inside the hitch because the hitch is also unique uh, for the Raptor. Alright, this truck likes to beep. The interior of the new Raptor follows along the lines of the brand new 2021 F-150, but it has very many unique touches. And of course, it's loaded with special Raptor technology. So first of all, as with some other premium F-150s, it has a 12-inch center infotainment screen. 
and of course it looks very familiar now if you're used to uh, what's going on with the f-150 lineup for 2021 then it also has a 12 inch center gauge cluster and there will be a total of three different trim levels on the raptor there will be kind of a base model high trim high level model and also something they're calling the accent and if you can see right here in the stitching the center marker on the steering wheel some of the other accents inside the truck they're now in this new orange color and ford says now from now on the ford raptor will use the orange kind of a stitching and accent color to differentiate itself because it is a high performance vehicle this one right here is a pre-production model but it's equipped with a lot of different luxury features so this is likely to be more of a premium raptor truck you have of course the heated and ventilated seats heated steering wheel here's your drive mode selector and your four-wheel drive system the raptor of course has the most advanced transfer case with four automatic mode and it's also lockable of course, there is a rear locker and an available Torsen front limited slip. So kind of the running gear, as far as the four-wheel drive system on the Raptor, it's kind of similar to what's available now. And that's not a bad thing. Then next up, if you look at the materials in this truck, for example, this hideaway shifter that's available on some other F-150s, you can see kind of this leather material here this kind of bluish leather with inserts here on the center console and these recaro seats are unique as well you can see the little recaro symbol right here of course orange stitching and the bolstering is quite big and actually quite comfortable and the steering wheel is huge <laughs> look how thick the steering wheel um, actually is and it's got like thumb holes so yes, this truck is built for high-speed driving, off-road, of course, on-road as well. The work surface, of course, is available as well. You can put your laptop here or maybe a little snack, having lunch in the middle of the desert. It's pretty nice. The center console is pretty ordinary, very similar to other F-150 trucks. Boom, right there. Of course, the steering wheel says Raptor but all the technology is here so let's start on the left side lane keep uh, assist system adaptive cruise control all those settings are here then on this side is my favorite because configurability i love being able to tailor the truck to what you need to do and now there's even more stuff to play with here's the exhaust system configurability once again four different modes quiet normal sport and baja uh, there is a suspension configurability steering feel or how much the steering how much boost the steering provides and then of course modes right the modes also map or change the mapping of the uh, accelerator pedal and the transmission so now you have to up up to five different parameters that you can tune and control in this truck um, yeah that's quite impressive another unique raptor touch is this kind of finish and material right here on the trim it's a very special uh, trim in aluminum and you can also see a carbon fiber look in some of the trim pieces here like on the glove box this is not a hybrid power system but it does have power output in this case 400 watts right here by the passenger and it has an available two kilowatt inverter system that you can put in the bed um, so if you want to power some accessories air compressor something like that you have the ability still seven drive modes as you can see here and unique graphics you can see right here slippery towing mode the 2021 raptor now boosts its towing capacity to 8200 pounds to go over what the trx is capable of then of course there is a sport mode and it also adjusts the transfer case normal there is deep snow and sand and you can kind of hear the transfer case clicking and of course baja mode is of course here and this is adjust the suspension settings as well of course as well as everything else um, to help you have you know the most spirited 
uh, driving experience. And if you're wondering about fuel efficiency, Ford said up to about 500 plus miles of range on a fuel tank. And this truck is, a, is a, equipped with a 36 gallon tank. This is a Raptor after all. So yes, six auxiliary switches by the roof. And just for fun, here are a few concept renderings of the third generation Ford Raptor. If this truck was riding on 35 inch tall tires, by the way, they are B of Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires, both in 35 inch and 37 inch diameters. This truck would have 12 inches of ground clearance, which is actually a little bit better than the previous generation of the Raptor by about half an inch. But of course on 37s, as you see here, the ground clearance increases to 13.1 inches and the approach angle is at 33.1. And for a full-size truck, those are pretty stellar numbers because when you are driving, especially like rock crawling, and you have obstacles that you're going over, it's very, very important that you have the ground clearance because it gives you extra confidence, and I like that. Of course, this truck is equipped with a 360-degree camera view, but also new for 21 is one pedal driving, which basically means it's kind of like a crawl control system, Yes, this does have trail control still, but one pedal driving means if you want to go a little bit faster, of course, press on the gas pedal. If you want to slow down, release the gas pedal and the brakes come on automatically and proportionally. So I haven't tried that yet, but it sounds like a pretty neat feature. Customization is very important with Ford Raptor and of course the owners who drive these trucks. And now Ford is actually providing a couple of accessories. For example, rigid lights right here, down in this opening in the bumper. You could spec it out and equip your truck with a rigid light. If you wanna bring your friends and cargo with you and actually take this truck overlanding like many people want to do, you need payload. And Ford increased it to 1,400 pounds from about 1,200 where it was before. Of course, the suspension system was redesigned, so they did that and built that in. Towing number is now 8,200 pounds. So about 200 pounds more than it was before. And of course, 100 pounds more than the TRX. Well, there you have it. Now you know what powers this new truck, the suspension system, the technology it includes. Ford hasn't released, of course, the power number, like I said, they haven't released zero to 60 acceleration times, but it should be a little bit quicker than the current second gen Raptor. But they did say it's gonna be on sale in late summer 2021. To me, that means August or September, something like that. And of course, Raptor R, the next edition of the Raptor is coming about a year away. So that's all we know. And as always, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest news, views, and independent and honest reviews.